Alright, so this video is meant to introduce you to energy and power concepts, equations, and a very simple sample problem. So let's first talk about um, the concept of energy and power. So what I like to think about is I like to think about a runner that's running around a track. And if you think about it, he has two things that he's doing. He's running at a certain speed, and that speed is going to dictate how many laps around the track he's going to make. And you also have to know how long he's running for to know how many laps he's going to uh, take. So let's think about it in terms of power and energy. So what we can think about is that power is analogous to the speed at which he is running around the track. So power is very instantaneous because he could start sprinting or walking or jogging at any moment. So power is very instantaneous. And energy is analogous to how many laps he has run around the track. So energy is sort of like power added up over time. So if he was running 20 miles an hour and the track was one mile and he kept running 20 miles an hour, he could run 20 miles in one hour. Um, so he'd run 20 times around the track. So this is how you want to think about it. Also, if power is zero after a, a certain amount of time, that doesn't necessarily mean energy is zero. Because energy is power added up over time. So if he was running for a while and ran a couple times around the track and then stopped, that doesn't mean he hadn't run around the track at all because he stopped. But the power is zero at that point. So again, a couple major points. Just because power is zero doesn't mean um, energy is zero. And remember that power is instantaneous and that energy is added up over time. Okay, so let's look at some equations for energy and power. One is that if you have the voltage and the current in an um, electrical circuit, you can multiply those two to get power. There are lots of other ways to get power, but this is the one we'll focus on here. And in this case, power is in watts, V is in voltage, which is in volts, and I is current in amps. So once you have power, the energy equals powers times time. So in this case, E is energy in joules, P is power in watts, and T is the time in seconds. So again, energy, to get energy, you need to have some sort of time. You can't just have a maximum power. Okay, so let's look at a sample problem. So let's just say you have a case where a battery supplies 2 watts for 5 seconds and then 5 watts for 10 seconds. How much energy has the battery supplied in total in joules? So step one would be to just calculate for the first when you're outputting 2 watts for 5 seconds, calculate how many joules that is. So again, we have E equals power times time, so 2 watts times 5 seconds equals 10 joules. Then, the next step is we have um, 5 watts for 10 seconds. So in the same way, we calculate 50 joules. Now, the trick is to add this up over time. So we want to um, go ahead and add E1 and E2 to give us a total of 60 joules. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to uh, calculate power and energy.